I decided to choose a STEM course because I really enjoyed STEM subjects in school. I particularly liked physics and when we finished the physics course in sixth year, thought, oh there's so much more physics left to do, I, I want to find out more. I chose a STEM career because it allowed me to have a positive impact on people's lives. I always wanted to help people, but I didn't want to be a doctor or a nurse. STEM allowed me to keep my options open because at 18, I didn't know what career I wanted to pursue. I chose engineering because I loved maths and physics in school. Uh, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do, but I knew by going into engineering, I'd have lots of options. Uh, from there, I went into biomedical engineering because I wanted to apply my knowledge to hopefully improve people's lives in some way. I applied for this program in Trinity. It's a chemistry summer school program. And I think it's run every year actually, but I applied for this when I was fifth year. And it's only a week long, but it was so monumental in my life. Like, I kind of just solidified my choice. I was always thinking about the chemistry and like, you know, if I'd like to do anything with it when I'm obviously older. But we learned about how chemistry is so involved in our day-to-day -day lives. Like, for example, your toothpaste, your shower gels, your moisturizers, Makeup, like whatever the case is, like there's chemicals and like obviously the chemists and people who manufacture that. I am so, so curious about how things work and why they work the way they do. Like have you ever wondered why the sky is blue or how NASA have just flown a helicopter on Mars? As well as that, I love problem solving. Whether it was doing Sudokus with my Nana when I was younger or solving some kind of maths problem or watching a murder mystery and trying to figure out who did it before they tell you. And that's something you do as a physicist and any kind of person working in STEM. I like to think of people in STEM as detectives of the universe, constantly trying to figure out why and how things work the way they do. When I was in secondary school, I was obsessed with shows like Criminal Minds and NCIS and I always wanted to be a forensic scientist. So I chose to do science in college. But once I started, I realised that I really loved all the other aspects of science as well. I chose to study a STEM course in college because in school I really loved STEM subjects and I had a really good biology teacher who really helped me in that regard. When I was in school, um, I always really liked science and math, particularly chemistry, um, and I was always quite good at them and I never quite had the same interest in um, English and languages. So because of that, because I had the interest in it and I was actually quite good at those subjects, that was why I decided to study STEM. I really enjoyed my STEM subjects in school, but I was never quite sure what career role I wanted to aim for. So when choosing my course, I looked at the subjects in each course and based my decision off of what subjects were covered and what subjects I enjoyed in school. Because I was really interested in chemistry in particular in school. Um, I was decent enough at maths, but I always felt um, that I wasn't good enough at maths to do, particularly engineering, I just thought, no, um, I'm not good enough at it. Actually, I was wrong. Like, you can do engineering if you see a B in maths. It doesn't matter. Maths is so different in college. Um, so when I realised that, that I was holding myself up to standards that boys weren't, then I decided, so what if I'm getting Bs or whatever in maths? I can, I can still do engineering. So then I did it. The STEM subjects I studied in school were maths, physics and applied maths. I studied maths, applied maths, chemistry, physics, and design and communication graphics. In school, I studied chemistry, biology, honours maths, and I also studied tech graph for my junior search. Physics, chemistry, biology, and applied maths. I was delighted that I studied them all. It kind of helped me out a little bit about when I started college. I did physics, chemistry, and applied maths. I also did economics, but let's forget about that. I did physics, chemistry, and biology now. Looking back, I didn't have to do all three. You don't necessarily need to do all three to get to where you need to get to. Don't do anything because everyone else is doing it. That's not worth your while at all. But whatever you do decide to do, I think you just stick the head down and you're going to be absolutely fine. Physics and math. My other choice subjects were art and history. It may seem like an odd combination, but I was always more creative. But I had that curiosity for physics to just understand how things work. Chemistry, physics and engineering. Not really because I knew I was passionate about STEM or because I knew that was what I wanted to do, but more because they were subjects I liked the sound of or thought would be useful. Chemistry, biology, then I did maths. But I did like art and I did French and I did like English. I loved English as well. So I was really confused. I even had a, I even had art down on the on the CAO. I, t I chose not to do that because I, I really wanted to kind of further my studies in STEM. And the thing with STEM subjects is you pick them up in college and they're different in college anyway. 
So I picked up physics nobody. I only did biology and chemistry, but when you come to college, you learn all the basics in first year. So if you're not doing the subject that you want to be doing later on in college, don't let that deter you. Initially, being the only girl in DCG and applied maths, and one of three girls in physics, I definitely questioned why that was the case. But luckily, my teachers in each of those subjects encouraged me, and I'm definitely glad that they did, knowing all the opportunities available to me now in STEM. I remember at the start of fifth year, when I was the only girl in the engineering class, feeling like, oh, this is going to be a bit of a challenge, this is strange. But I remember thinking to myself, I like this subject, I'm good at this subject, I should be here. And really soon I got used to it and it, it didn't bother me at all that I was the only girl. I just thought that physics was for boys and applied maths was for boys. It's completely wrong. It's not the case at all. And I realised very quickly, like, boys, like, no matter whether you're a boy or a girl, when you're doing the course, you're in the same boat, like, you're studying the same subjects, you're finding the same lectures difficult. I was always very nervous to ask questions in class, especially in engineering modules where there was a lot less girls. I went to an all-girls secondary school, so I wasn't used to being in classes with boys, so it was more intimidating for me. I also believed in stereotype that boys were better at maths and engineering than girls, so I avoided asking questions for fear of embarrassing myself. What helped was making friends in the class with both males and females, and realising we were all in the same boat, and there wasn't one person there that was more deserving to be there than another. Honest. I didn't get the encouragement I needed to follow STEM in my secondary school. I thought that I was really bad at maths and chemistry and I always got really bad grades at those but my parents told me to trust my gut and do what I really want to do so I chose to do science in college and when I got there I realised that maths and chemistry were actually my best subjects. No one in my family had really done science before, not to mind physics. So I felt like everyone thought I was crazy or something for wanting to do it because they just didn't get it and they didn't get why I liked it. There's definitely been a lot of days too where I've doubted myself and thought that I'm not good enough to do what I do. But I enjoy it and I'm passionate about it so even if I'm not the best, who cares? I love what I do. One challenge I found while studying in the STEM industry is that it can be very difficult to decide what area that you actually want to go into. During my third year placement, I realised that although I was studying food science, I'd much rather work in the pharma industry, and that's where I work now. Something that I have only noticed recently that I think does hold girls back is the lack of uh, female figures in like engineering, in maybe lectures, and then same with maths and physics teachers, or you know like STEM subject teachers. Like it wasn't until I did my work placement and I had two female female supervisors that like it was like seeing the light for the first time I finally realised I have never actually looked at someone in industry and thought that could be me. It was the first time I'd ever thought like, oh my god, I want to be like her when I grow up. I know it sounds ridiculous. Just to make sure that, you know, they are there. All those girls are but they're all employed. <laughs> they're all employed and in the engineering department, you just can't just can't see them now. <laughs> so I was always a bit nervous. Obviously I put these down, they all seem to be quite tough subjects, but I was interested in them um, and I was always quite good at science and math, so that definitely helped. And you know if I just worked hard um, at them, I did the best that I could and that's kind of all that matters. I was definitely a bit nervous and apprehensive, I suppose, because, but I suppose everyone is though when they start in college. Um, but when I went, it was fantastic. Like, everyone was so friendly. Everyone was starting college at the same time. So everyone was there to make friends. So you can meet loads of different people that have kind of similar interests to you. I haven't actually experienced any major setbacks in STEM, in school, throughout college, and now my career. All I've got is encouragement and support, and I've learned so much. So everything has been positive. I've had my fair share of like lack of confidence and setbacks in STEM, it's not a joke. So I think I was in third and second year of college, I'm not too sure, but we have this module, it's a process um, engineering module, which isn't my strong suit, but I just kind of went into it thinking, oh, it's going to be okay. It wasn't. It was so difficult. It was so tough. What I did though, which helped, <laughs> I literally went to the library, got the textbook, it was like this thick, but I was like, you know what, if this is what I have to do to get the grades I need, I'm gonna do that.